Okay, we're back with another O'Fallon beer. I feel like I'm cutting off the light or something there. The Show Me Amber Amber Ale. So that must be amber. It says amber ale, but it says lager on the bottle. Hmm. The website shows it's an ale, but that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um. 4.6% ABV and 10 IBUs. So the website does say Amber Ale and Amber Lager. So it's named Amber Ale and the description is Lager. I'm assuming it's actually a lager, chemically speaking. Hmm. But we don't need to dwell on that. Interesting. So. Wow. Kind of uneventful. <laughs> I was expecting a little psh or something. The last O'Fallon <laughs> beer we opened just spewed everywhere. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure this is fine, but. I believe this is a new release. Not 100%, but. Yes. The cartoon Amber model seems to be the twin sister of the O'Fallon Show Me IPA. Which Show is Me a, IPA. Which is a brunette. So. Yeah. But her hair is parted on the other side. Yeah. Let's give her some credit here. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like when you used to watch Looney Tunes and Bugs Bunny would dress <laughs> up like a girl bunny. But she's way more, Amber's way more attractive than it. You say? Bugs Bunny. You yeah. weren't attracted to Bugs Bunny when he dressed up. Turned around, yeah. But, like I mean, dress. from the backside, but not <laughs> yeah, when he turned around. <laughs> All right. I hope our children never watch these videos ever. <laughs> All right, it's, I mean, it's kind of amber in color. Yeah. So, yeah, it's an amber. It's not a red. Yeah, it's definitely it's, not a red. It's and not a red. By the smell, I'd say it's definitely a lager. What do you think? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There are um, three different types of uh, hops in this. Never heard, or I'm sorry, two. Laurel and German traditional. So, not okay. two that I've really heard of, to be honest uh -huh. with you. No, it, it tastes like a... It's just kind of... It's got a nice body. It's a substantial, a little bit of malt. And uh, very bready. I get I get a very fresh bread on this one. Yeah. yeah good call. Get some bread crust, white bread crust or something. Yeah, white bread crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, mine's it's like not a pumpernickel. It's like whole wheat bread crust <laughs> on mine, but well, that's because you eat whole wheat. I eat white. This, I didn't know what to expect. I guess I, I looked at the bottle and I thought it was going to be a red. Um, but it's amber lager. If this is an amber lager, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, honestly, I thought it was going to be more of a red as well. Kind of leaves you a, a dryness for sure. Mm -hmm. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, it's a good beer. It would hold up well. To the chili we had earlier. Yeah, that would have been a better choice. <laughs> had we known, I thought it would have been too heavy. Yeah. Being an amber, but. Mm. Oh, excuse me. So, you know, not real colorful, but maybe light bronze, maybe? Yeah, that's a good color. The head's, you know, not a lot of head. There's not a lot of carbonation, but it's more smooth malt. The lacing's pretty good. So, it does say it's an anytime beer. Uh, I could probably go along with that. Yeah. Good for fishing or floating or barbecuing. Yeah. Or anytime. Or watching Looney Tunes reruns. True. If Bug Bunny's on there like a girl bunny. Mm hmm. So, I would agree. All right. But anyway, I would drink this again. It's a good local beer. <clears throat> um,. 3.75 for me. Yeah, that sounds good. I may even go, you know, higher. It's it was a surprise to me. It probably is a 3.75, but it was a it was a good surprise. Um, not bitter, 
Yeah, just, not at all. Just a good, good solid beer. Maybe even a four. We'll go a four. All right. That's a good one. We'll talk to you later.